What's up guys, DJ Hess here and I'm bringing you guys another quick tip video. Um, this one is on monkeys, I got a bunch of different quick tips. But the beginning, I'll start off, basically when you start the game, you'll find four monkeys uh, randomly throughout the map. Now, they could be in a number of different spots, there's actually still one spot I'm not sure of, and I'll show you, but um, you'll see here I end up killing all four of the monkeys, and then after you kill all four monkeys, you don't hear any monkeys on the screen, and I'll let you hear the screen um, afterwards, but you you won't hear any, if you try to sound whore, you won't hear any monkeys in the background. Um, and then I restart the map, and then I uh, start it again, and every time if you restart, the monkeys will spawn in different spots. And I kill three of the monkeys, the next one I couldn't find the fourth. And then you can hear that the monkey is constantly making noise in the background. So I don't know the significance, all I know is that there's four monkeys uh, in random locations and you can shoot them. Um, the problem is even after you get done shooting them, I thought that maybe if you shot all four of them, when you get a drop, then, uh, then the monkeys wouldn't get it, but that's not the case. They actually still do get it. And in fact, after you kill the four monkeys in the first room, and if you leave the room, uh, go into the far left or the far right uh, rooms, you'll see that, uh, in fact, the monkeys are back. So it, I don't understand the significance of four monkeys, but it's something I found um, interesting nonetheless. But listen, take a listen here, and you'll hear now, um, and I'm speeding it up. But you, if you listen in the background, you won't hear any any monkeys. It's it's silent. So the next time uh, around coming up here, you'll uh, you'll see that in fact I leave one monkey left and then there's sound. Now this one's not that neat of a, a tip really, but it was just something I found entertaining. the The best tip is obviously uh, the one on the last, um, and that's what she said. But uh, but just wait wait for it. Um, and here I, I go ahead and restart. And again, you'll see from the beginning. I kill three three monkeys and then the fourth one is left. Um, I don't. I just really don't understand the point of this. And I, if you guys know where the fourth location is, let me know, because it's obvious you can hear them. Um, and I'll let you listen right right here coming up. But you can hear the monkey right here somewhere. It's like in that area, and I don't know where. I couldn't find the little fucker. And you can definitely hear him though. Um, Yeah, so I, I don't know I don't know where the last one is, but as a result of only killing three, you hear the fourth monkey. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't affect the drops. If if you get a drop, the monkeys will still come. And and the next one I want to show is uh, the the insignificance um, of four monkeys again. And here I'll transition right about here, or maybe right here. Okay, right here. So I transition, and you'll see. Uh, Basically, I get a drop, and I let the monkey take it, because I wanted to know. I killed the monkeys on this map already, and I wanted to know how many monkeys would, would keep coming after the, the drop. So I shoot them, and, um, and you know, this is proof right here that the, even though there's four monkeys that are showing up on the, on the screen in this, in this area, more than four monkeys will uh, go after your drop. So it's almost like no matter what happens when you get a drop, the monkeys will just come out of the woodwork and, and just try to get, get the, the drops. And I killed three already. Um, and you'll see I'll, I'll kill, uh, there's four, so I figured, okay, maybe, maybe they won't start coming for the drop anymore, but that's not the case. They, so it's, it seems in, in my opinion, from what I've noticed that it's just infinite. They'll keep coming for the drops until, uh, they get it. And then when they grab it, they, they bring it up to the top of the stairs by the pack of punch behind it. Um, and then it's gone. So I don't know. I found it kind of interesting, maybe again, not useful, but just wait for the useful one at the end. Um, now this one, this one will show you basically if you get a uh, a drop while you knife the, the zombie right next to you, and so I just got a max ammo, there's no monkeys that come after you. Most of the time, if you get a drop and then you just, you wait a second and then you pick it up, monkeys will still come after you and try to injure you. So uh, if, if you knife them and you actually get it like really, really quickly, no monkeys will, will come after you. Uh, and then the last tip, this is the, the probably the best one uh, so hopefully it was worth waiting when you get a max ammo drop and you let the monkeys come up and change that max ammo you'll see uh, and I'm gonna slow it down when he takes it away you'll see lo and behold uh, right here there it is you can get a perk 
from uh, the monkey. So when when the, and it only seems to be when you get a max ammo when it rotates, but you can get um, a perk when a uh, max ammo drops. Uh, give it a th this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Um, if you uh, don't find it useful, you know, let me know what was uh, stupid about it because I know some of it isn't very useful. But enjoy anyway. Thanks, guys.